I'm Luana Rubin from eQuilter.com. I'm here at the 2016 Houston Quilt Festival and I'm here in the Quilt National exhibit. They have brought one of their three collections here to Houston for all of us to enjoy. Behind me is a quilt by Susan, also known as Lucky Shy, and we're just going to talk to a few of the artists here at the show. I'm here with Kristen Laflamme, and I'd like you to tell us about this piece, which is a very famous piece. I don't know if you would call it an activist piece, but gosh, I, I love this, and I'd Thank love you. to hear you talk about your inspiration and your process. All right. Um, this is definitely an activist piece. Mm -hmm. um, it's called Murka, and it was part of, or it still is for a little bit longer, part of Quilt National 15. And so it started at the Dairy Barn in Ohio last year and has traveled a bit and is now here, hopefully seeing a bunch of new eyes. My work in general is, um, you know, it's art quilts, but very grounded in tradition. I do a lot of work based on my 20 years as an army wife and that's kind of grown into more social commentary work mm -hmm. and so this piece is part of a series that I call security blankets mm -hmm. and I'm exploring ideas of uh, what makes us feel secure whether that's cameras, security cameras and stuff like that um, or guns and of course when you talk about guns and Americans it's more than just security it's identity. The flag is made of shirts and all other repurposed um, textiles, so it's literally made from the shirts off our backs. Mm -hmm. And each gun, these are all tessellated gun shapes, hand appliqued, and each one is surrounded by crazy quilt stitches because mm. I think it's all a little crazy. Yeah, good. Thank you. So I'm here now with Barbara Oliver Hartman to talk about her beautiful piece. Can you tell us about your process and your technique with us? Yes, I'd be glad to. Uh, this began as a series of over 20 years ago where I just had a lot of scraps left over from a quilt I had previously done that was a landscape sitting on my table, so I just thought, what if I cut these into smaller pieces and made something else out of it and it began. So it's refined over the years. The process has become more involved. Uh, I do no fusing. I do no netting. Oh. Every piece is sewn completely on. Oh, wow. So, so it's no a, glue or anything no, like no that? No, no glue. Okay. It is very time consuming and mm. very addictive. It's uh, mm. uh, so big, over the years it's just become more and more impressionistic and yes. uh, I just love the look of it. Yeah. So your colors are beautiful. In fact, they match what you're wearing. Oh, well thank you. I'm very earthy. I. Uh, am drawn to the uh, autumn colors because mm. that's mostly what I wear mm -hmm. and I it reflects in the work that I do and you many people can recognize my work just because of the earth tone colors mm. it's pretty common in my work yeah great okay well I'm so happy that you took some time to come and meet us this here at is, the show. I'm so excited to yeah. have the exhibit here because yeah. this is like visiting an old friend it was in the yeah. Quilt National 15 uh -huh. and I so I haven't seen it for next till since last year yeah. and so now I'm seeing it again today yeah see so your baby That's I great. see my baby yes. <laughs> thank you thank you so I'm excited to finally meet Jane. This is Jane Dunnewald, and I have followed your work for years and years. We're excited to finally meet each other in person, actually. Yes, we are. And your quilt is actually not here, but it's traveling with another Quilt National. Yes, it so is. So there are three different groups, is mm -hmm. that correct? Mm -hmm. And where is that quilt now? That quilt was just hung in the collection that is in, currently in Akron, Ohio. Okay. Good. Well, tell us about your piece. Well, I started on a, a quest about three years ago to take vintage pieces that were destroyed or damaged in some way mm -hmm. and to incorporate them with newer pieces. And I spackle the entire surface, which is pretty unusual. Oh, yeah. And then I add sand. And my whole topic right now in my mind is, is it a quilt or is it not a quilt? And when is it functional? 
and when is it not fun functional. Mm. So, okay. So you're famous for your dyeing. Did you do some hand dyeing in this piece? Um, I do. I did some dyeing on one portion of the piece. There is a dyed section that has also been screen printed, which I can't get away from either. Yeah. But that theme on the part of, of the quilt that I developed myself is also carried through on the vintage piece because the piece is a grandmother's flower garden. Oh. So okay. there is the grandmother's flower garden theme carried on to the new new side of it, but they're they're kind of in juxtaposition with each other. Kind okay. of challenging. Yeah, good. Well, those of you in Akron and in Ohio can go check out that piece. And uh, we're going to look forward to the next Quilt National in 2017 now, while these quilts finish up traveling around the country. <laughs> Thank you. Mm -hmm. So as we finish up our little tour of Quilt National here in Houston, I uh, just wanted to talk to Jane Forrest Redfern, who is the executive director of the Dairy Barn Arts Center. Yes. And uh, you, this exhibit has been split up into three traveling exhibits, right? Yes, uh, there's three collections that travel throughout the United States and um, France. And um, today we have Collection C, which is the largest of the collections. Oh, great. So there's one here, there's one in Akron, and where's the other one right now? Well, actually, two were in Akron, um, okay. and this one's uh, in uh, Houston for the International Quilt Festival. And we're just so pleased that eQuilter um, sponsors us and lets us be able to show this uh, beautiful collection of uh, quilts. Oh, it's our pleasure. It's such an incredible group of artists and art. Mm -hmm. Well, thank you for letting us uh, do a quick little review of your exhibit, and we're going to look forward to next year, right? Yes, next year is the 20th biennial of Quilt National, and we are going to fill the whole town up with different quilt exhibits wow. and workshops and events, and so we want the whole you know country to come out and see us at the Dairy Barn Art Center in Athens, Ohio. And thanks to eQuilter, we'll have a great summer. Thank you. Well, thank I you. I will be there. Okay, great. great. Thanks, Jane. Bye-bye.